this is a typical day's excursion. Yeah, I've got 41%, and uh, that's what's left over from yesterday's yesterday's drive. Um, we, we very seldom charge these things to full, so we're going down to get a solar permit for a solar system installation, and also to check another RAV4 EV uh, to check the batteries with a diagnostic tester. It's a great drive down the coast, especially knowing that nobody inland is going to be, be smelling the exhaust from this particular car, that this car charged up on sunlight, electricity made from sunlight, and that none of the, um, none of the fumes from this car, as there aren't any, will go, go downwind. Not only is it cleaner in the cabin, but it's cleaner for those people around you. Whereas the exhaust from all of those cars and trucks will go right to downwind breathers. So what's so important about electric cars? Well, if you could buy an electric car, then solar systems would become self-financing because the money that you formerly spend on gasoline would more than pay for your solar system. Uh, to drive an, an electric car a thousand miles a month, which is our average drive, takes about 250 kilowatt hours of electrical energy. The EV1 it would have taken about 600, 166, but for a RAV4 EV, which is much bigger and less aerodynamic, it's 250 kilowatt hours. Now, the average home uses about a thousand kilowatt hours a month. So basically you could do all your driving, uh, particularly local driving, on about a quarter of your current electric energy consumption. Now, a, a solar system to produce that 250 kilowatt hours or even that 1,000 kilowatt hours would be less than the cost of the gasoline it takes to drive that 1,000 miles, even if you have a, a fuel efficient car. So that's why it's so important to have electric cars available for sale. It's not, it's not the case that everybody has to have an electric car. All you have to do, the revolutionary thing, is to make electric cars available for sale on the free market. People should be able to have the choice buying an electric car, then we're inevitably led to the idea of putting in solar power on our roof. Now, not for everybody. Maybe some people don't have accessible roofs. So they live in condos or they, they don't have, they have too much shade. But for those people that do have an electric car and do have a roof, that's a great way to basically avoid buying any gasoline or oil at all, you know, except for long trips. For long trips, you take your electric car to the train station or to the airport, and or you, you rent a car, and that's the way you do long trips. And for your daily driving, just driving to work, no need to buy gas.